I work as a radiology technologist or x-ray tech. Um, my typical day involves me coming in around 7 p.m. I work 12-hour shifts, so 7p to 7a. One of the first things I do is get the morning rounds together, uh, x-rays that we have to do. Then we also service the ER department and also the uh, care units in the hospital. We respond to any codes that, uh, that come about. Also, um, occasionally have to do OR duties where we operate a C-arm if there's a surgery case. The type of equipment that we use, we have portable x-ray machines, we have x-ray rooms, we have C-arms, um, each of those take radiography or each one of those take x-rays and then we develop them. At this facility, we use digital or CR. We're uh, no longer doing film. Um, some hospitals still use film where we have a dark room. Ours now are on computers, so it's a little bit easier to to take the x-rays and see them immediately afterwards and send them over via computer to the doctors to see. Besides that, we uh, check our patient charts and make sure that the correct orders are ordered or what they want and perform floral procedures sometimes in some of these rooms that we, uh, we use with the uh, radiologist present. Job requirements for this job uh, vary. Education is usually the same. Um, you can get a two-year degree or it's an associate of sciences at most uh, junior colleges or state colleges and you can get a bachelor's of science. Two-year degree usually has the foundation of all the work that is used as an x-ray tech. Uh, the uh, bachelor's was for advanced modalities like CT, MRI, those you can also get on the job training and these also you have to get licensure for. Licensure is uh, done through the AART and that is the uh, governing body for uh, getting your x-ray license. The x-ray license is uh, renewed every two years. Uh, you have to keep up uh, continual education credits, uh, usually 24 in order to keep your license. Some states require that you also have a state license and if you have the ART then you can just pay extra and get the state license. Some states you have to be licensed to work in. The majority of states in the United States you do have to be licensed to work in. I personally got my education or my training through the military which is just a little bit different. It's, so it was more like a year year uh, training skills needed for this job is the ability to communicate with uh, patients. Also uh, a good strong background in uh, anatomy which you'll learn in your school uh, and the ability to uh, think quickly on your feet and most of the time be able to lift at least 50 pounds or more and be able to work in tandem or with somebody else. So communication is also a big key to this job. I would have to say that uh, the best th parts about this job would be uh, coming in and helping folks uh, that are in need. You know, every day is a different day. Um, some days it may seem like you're doing the same exam all the time, but uh, you know, the patients are usually different. It's not the same thing every day. Uh, one of the best things I like about my job is going to surgery because I find that fascinating. Uh, you get to be in the case, uh, you're an integral part if you're needed. The uh, doctor uh, needs you to um, at least do what he needs to be done and likewise you get to learn a little bit. I would say one of the worst parts of the job is uh, any tragedy that happens, um, you know, with this type of job, you know, you come in people die or there might be a traumatic it'd be a traumatic experience or a, tra a trauma um, and then you have to deal with those uh, again with that quick thinking be able to get the pictures and so 
you know, whatever care that needs to be provided can be done in a, in a timely manner. Uh, unfortunately, not everybody, you know, makes it. Um, so that I would say is the worst part of it. Uh, you know, if you're squeamish, you know, sometimes you see blood, sometimes you don't. Uh, this is a hands-on job, but you're not so hands-on that you have to get your hands dirty. Uh, some final advice if you are interested in me in x-ray tech. One, if you're in high school, um, be strong in your sciences and your math. Uh, two, if you actually get into the program and you're in college, then treat the course as if you're interviewing for a job because you have on-the-job training in the, uh, in the college programs. You go to a hospital and you actually get hands-on with the patients. Besides that, again, with the communication skills, if you can, get into a hospital, volunteer, at least get a chance to see the different departments in the, the hospital and see what you know may appeal to you. Find out the little intricacies of uh, doing each type of job, whether it be respiratory, nursing, x-ray. And one of the things is also have a uh, compassion for the type of job that you're doing and the people. One of the things that uh, one of my coworkers would always say is uh, treat the person that you're treating like they were a family member and you will provide the best care possible to that person. One of the things that people appreciate is uh, if you're listening to them and not ignoring them or at least show interest in what is causing their ailments. Uh, if you don't treat it just like a job and that they're just another number or paycheck, Trust me, you'll, you'll get a lot better kudos or uh, reviews or, or whatever, but it's about helping the patients.